Hello everybody. So this lesson is just a short lesson to help you learn how to go from moles to molecules and then to atoms. So to help us do that, we are going to solve this question right here. So the question is two parts. The first part is calculate the number of molecules if you have 37.6 moles of sugar. And the second part of the question is once you have the number of molecules, calculate the number of atoms in the sample. So let's start. All right, so we have been given some information here. And the information that we've been given is we have the number of moles. And that was 37.6 of them. The first question was how many molecules do we have? So we're going to use the, um, the equation the number of molecules equals the number of moles times Avogadro's number. So the number of moles that we have is 37.6 and the number of Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 and that is molecules for one mole. So if we do that calculation what we'll notice is that moles will cross out and we're left with molecules. So the answer to that question is 2.26 times 26 molecules. Now couple things to notice here. We're going from moles and we're going to molecules. So we're going from something that should have a small number to something that should have a much bigger number because molecules are really really tiny so you're going to have lots and lots of them. So that means that our answer makes sense and it's always good to check those things. All right. So we're going to do the second part of the question now, and it asked us how many hydrogens were in the original sample. So in the compound C6, H12, O6, for every one molecule, we have 12 hydrogens. So we already calculated that there is 1.26 times 10 to the 25 molecules. So to find the number of hydrogen atoms, we have to take that number n and multiply it by 12 because there are 12 hydrogens for every one molecule. If you've done your unit analysis correctly, your molecules will cross out. So the number of hydrogens, once we put it in our calculator, we should get that the number of hydrogens was 2.72 times 10 to the 26. If we look at our original question, there was three significant digits in the numbers that we were given. In my answer here, I have three significant digits. And if you were to go back to the previous slide, I had two, three significant digits there as well. I also had made sure that I have 
my units, which is also very important. All right, have a good night.